between the largest source of trafficking in dolphins in the world, which takes place at the Taiji Whale Museum, and Waza, which is here in Switzerland. There is a Swiss connection to this traffic in dolphins. Everybody talks about the dolphin slaughter in Taiji. Uh, and it's pretty horrific, but we've come to realize that it's the capture of dolphins that's the economic underpinning of this slaughter. It's done by the Taiji Whale Museum, which is a member of JASA, the Japanese Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which is a member here of the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums, and that is the Swiss connection. If we can stop these captures, or if we can get the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums to police their own in industry, we can probably stop the slaughter. This is how it works. This is the only science we have. This graph will show you the decline in consumption of dolphin meat. So we are having uh, a lot of success here, primarily because of uh, Elsa Nature Conservancy and the Japanese organizations who spend a lot of time educating the consumer about the dangers of eating dolphin meat, which is contaminated with mercury and PCBs. The green line are the captures, and you can see the captures are going through the roof. So we're doing our part to stop the dolphin slaughter. We now need the Swiss organization known as the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums to step in and do something about these captures. We met with Dr. Der Gerald Dick yesterday. He agreed to a meeting between Elsa Nature Conservancy and their 136 uh, colleagues in Japan. Everybody's excited about that. I'm a bit skeptical. I have no reason to believe anything that Dr. Gerald Dick says. He promised 10 years ago he was going to do something about this when it was over here, and he's done absolutely nothing so far. So we're quite upset about their lack of complacency and their promises and broken promises. But we're trying to put this meeting together to get the Japan Association of Zoos and Aquariums and the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums and our Japanese colleagues together at the same table and see if we can cut off these captures.